Back in the building With another episode We speaking how we feeling Talking about the truth Kicking back Call me so Grab your snacks Take a seat Come on Welcome to the show Welcome back to another installment Of the Lunch Table Podcast uh, We're coming up on a year Yeah Next week right? Yeah Yeah Take it over Take it over Te- Technically <laughs> Technically is this week for us uh, To be specific is on the 6th I think Or well, no it Might have been the 1st Something like that yeah. But when we uploaded, it was like the sixth or something. Um, so uh, for next week, we yeah, have a special. cool little episode planned. Should we just say what it is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to do like a Hot Ones episode. Yeah. Um, we got invited. Predictions on who uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to do good, who's going to do yeah. bad. Put your predictions in the comments. I don't know specifically yeah. what we're going to do, but yeah, we're going to do like the Hot Ones yeah. edition thing for next week. See who's the most pussies. It ain't gonna be me. It ain't gonna be me. <laughs> I already told you my taste buds changed, but it's definitely gonna be Oscar. I can handle a little bit better now. Yeah. I, I Oscar was straight. he was. Uh, if I want to try, I, no, if I want to try, I can go. I can go pretty far. If not, I'll probably top out early. I feel like I'll be the best. I said real. I'm gonna top out early, or I'm gonna go a long way. To be honest, like you said, if they what's that one name, Jenna? I mean, what Jenna Ortega? If she could do it better, we could do it better. I'm telling you, but yeah, <laughs> feel me? ain't no excuse. I'm prepared this time for sure. <laughs> Yeah. But what what we have for today? Have you heard uh, about? Oh yeah. Wait, t- we're just talking on like you said that your taste buds changed. Uh, they say like as you grow older, your taste buds do change, and you start like liking certain like foods, yeah. and other foods start becoming like nastier. Yeah. And they're like, you know, when your taste buds have like changed completely, is when you start liking tomato. And I was watching this video, and it said that, and I'm like, damn, I started liking tomato like two weeks ago. I still don't like tomatoes. Bro, tomatoes always been good. What are you talking about? It's all yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. Yeah. I don't yeah. like raw onions though. Oh, that's fucking But I think it's like more sorry. of a texture thing. Cause like when I chew on it and then you hear the little you know? <laughs> <laughs> I really just don't crying? like how my breath smells nah. after I eat onions, so I just don't eat onions yeah. for real. I like caramelized onions. Caramelized or grilled onions are so good. I feel hungry, huh? Well, <laughs> and I'm just like gang. talking about hot topics. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about food and chicken wings. Yeah, talking, like, talking, talking about hot topic, hot foods. H got a something he wanted. He Have wanted you to heard say. about the um, what happened to Michael B. Jordan? I don't know if it was like this week. Like, I don't really don't know yeah. when it was, but I know y'all know Creed Three is coming out. So at his little premiere thing or like red carpet thing when they like have everybody who starred in the movie, yeah. blah blah. Uh, there was somebody who was interviewing him on the red carpet yeah. for his movie. And the person who ended up interviewing him went to school with him yeah. back in, like, high school or something. And this girl, like, apparently she made fun of him back in high school for, I think, for his name being Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> for real? His name being Michael Jordan. And, like, he used to, like, walk around with, it, like, his... his uh, headshot. Headshot and stuff like What's that. What's a headshot? I Just think that's, like, like for, act- like, modeling, actors? like, trying to get him on. Like uh. Yeah. And uh, she would make fun of him for stuff like that. And then... She tried to interview him. He went along with the interview, but he, like, kind of confronted her about it because she reminded him, like, yeah, we went to school with each other. And he was, like, apparently she used to call him corny. He was, like, yeah, you went with the corny guy. Just confronting, like, what she did. Like, just acknowledging it pretty much. And then there's a bunch of backlash. People are, like, half and half on if that was okay to do, if it was corny to do since she was calling him corny. If it was okay to do, like, he's weird for doing that. Is he's right for doing that. And it's just, like, what do you guys think? I think that I side with him. Me too. Because yeah. also, um, she was saying stuff on a podcast. Like, yeah. yeah, we used to make fun of him, this and that. And just like, they they were all laughing, bashing on him. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, he like blew up. Or I don't know if it was Wait. before he blew up or anything. Yeah. But um, oh, and I like forgot to say Joe Budden. Changed. Joe Budden. He said, was on that pod, right? Yeah, he said... Yeah. He said Michael B. Jordan was corny too. He's been getting backlash. Nah, but He's Joe like, Budden, you bro? shouldn't say that to a woman, especially a black woman, especially since you don't even like black women. You date white girls, which I don't know what. That Wasn't he with Lori Harvey? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The fuck? Yeah. So I don't know. I think I think Joe Budden is pretty corny, to be honest. I think he's one of the corniest <laughs> motherfuckers in the industry. Exactly. We'll yeah. talk. Um, I saw I saw the the YouTube video. He didn't even say much. 
Yeah. She said, oh, you used to call him corny. Yeah. And then she was like, no, no, no. And I'm like, yeah, I heard it. It yeah. was you. <laughs> and he, and he yeah. stood in the interview. That, that's it. Yeah. And that's it. That, or that's the clip that I saw. Yeah. And I don't know if they're, if they're lashing back on that or if there's more to it. Yeah, I don't know. I think just a lot of people are calling him corny for addressing it. My thing is he still did the interview, gave her her shine and everything. Yeah. Mm. He could have not did the interview. And, you know, interviews for reporters or whatever she is is, like, big. But he did it, so... I think yeah. he handled it good. Plus, if you think about it, you got dreams as a kid in school, like doing whatever you can to get on and like promote yourself when you're young. And then you got people making fun of you. That's like, one, you rap and, you know, that's your dream. If you listen to people who try to make fun of you or something in school, you could just stop doing it right then and there. Yeah. And then whatever happens in your future wouldn't happen because you... So it could be no Michael B. Jordan, right? We yeah. wouldn't even know who he was for people. But, so I think... For all that could have happened and all he did, I think he handled it perfectly fine. He could have, if it was me, I probably would have did way worse, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, people don't look at it from, yeah. I mean, if, now that if I was in those shoes, you feel me? Now that you made that comp- comparison, like back then when I used to get cooked for having shit music, kind of similar. Like, but, like, the thing is, like, I don't be like, oh, you said my shit was trash back then. Because, oh, so I'm going to be, like, upset about it. Yeah. So like I I'm on his side still, but like I kind of like I th- I mean you successful as fuck like bro you know what I mean yeah. like, so it's like it's understandable but you wouldn't do that I would would you because what they gain from you, like saying it's still human you know yeah I you mean because Hugo made fun of you what if you what if yeah. Hugo's interviewing you like some years from now Hugo's interviewing <laughs> <laughs> you no but that's different because like that's different all right look look check me out that's, that's different because like I know him you know what I mean like yeah. we. We would like not. Nah, I wouldn't hang out with them, but you know what I mean. Like we're all kind of in the same area, yeah. I guess. So like it's kind of different. And it was like I didn't t- like looking back. That shit was trash. So it was like you know. Yeah. Maybe he probably still doesn't see it like as corny to do that shit. Cause to be fair, who the fuck cares a mu- uh? I say it, not mugshot, a headshot. Yeah. I'm not saying it's corny, but it's like you know like. Yeah. You know. It's, but like, what do you mean a headshot though? Like it's I, just it's just a picture of like. But like he would like carry like how, how <laughs> <big? Yeah. laughs> we don't yeah. know. I'm guessing like I'm in assuming, his backpack or something. I'm assuming like, it's like a, a piece of paper. Yeah, like, like in his wallet or something, just in case. Oh uh, no, I'm he thinking get like bigger. Oh, like uh, like a binder paper. Uh, mm. Like fucking tape. Yeah, like on his backpack or something. Yeah, but like, where would it be? Like, you think it's out in the open, or you think he like in the front yeah. of his binder? If it's out in the open, that is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. But at the same time, it's like people are trying to do whatever they can to make it. Yeah, that, that so shit kind of like I don't know. But like I mean. two years ago when I went to LA, I, I was like, it's it's the corny shit. I never told anybody this, but I had a USB with beats on it mm. in case I saw somebody. You feel me? Like yeah. And I was like, but looking back, is that really corny? It's not corny, but it's nah. just like I don't think it's corny because yeah, it's nah. like rather be prepared than yeah i yeah. think you know? yeah now i guess when you see it like that it does make sense for him to, i mean a headshot is kind of different because like yeah uh, but it's, it's kind of like the same thing in a way you know you got a usb for when you go to la right now nah i'm not damn what if nah. you meet somebody so, oh. uh, <laughs> uh, check out my check out my, my spotify freestyle freestyle <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's how big sean got signed so, really carrying he, around usb he, nah it's because uh Kanye was at a studio and he was outside. He waited for him. Then he he spit some bars and they exchanged information and shit. Yeah. It's crazy. What would you say? Keep no, it was like freestyling. Uh, yeah. But see, like you gotta go above and beyond if you want to get noticed. Yeah. So I mean, he. I feel like at the same time too, you're gonna get called something for trying to do what you want to do. Like bullying kind of is. I feel like bullying is kind of needed in a way. Yeah. Cause it makes competition, right? Cause he could have just stopped, but now he did it, and you know. That's what I was going to say, because, like, uh, I feel like nowadays bullying isn't, like, bullying. You know, it's more of a threat kind of situation. Like, bro, I'll fucking dox you or some shit. Like, that's bullying now. Right? Like, I got your IP. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll get your IP. Like, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So, like, back then, bullying was just, like, lose a couple fat <laughs> pounds, <laughs> fat ass. I don't know. Yeah, 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 so, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, it's, yeah. like... It's not the same. So like now bullying, yeah, like yeah, bullying now get rid bullying. of it, bro. Like that shit. So yeah. I don't know. And I'll say more people back then took it better. Nowadays, yeah. I think nowadays they they start crying. Just, yeah. Not to sound like old head, but yeah, now it's just like yeah. 
No, nah, I'm an old head with that. My my tío, my tío, so. my uncle. He used to he used to call me Chichona. <laughs> <laughs> like uh for the people who don't <laughs> like titty. like i ha- yeah big like titty. i had yeah big titties <laughs> <laughs> and uh that shit would, that shit would get to me bro like i didn't want to wear shirts like tight shirts around them <laughs> so it was bullying, bro. yeah so no, yeah it was bullying oh, okay, okay. but look like not like i grew up and i'm like all right bro like and it's still one of like my like my biggest insecurities my oh, chest okay. So when I like I'm at the gym, bro, I just go crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> you just be like, Chichona, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, hey, say that shit. Uh, say it again. Chichona, Chichona. That's not hard. No, say, 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 quiero una Chichona. Say it again. Quiero, quiero una, una Chichona, Chichona. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> And then uh, what does that mean? One, t- one titty. <laughs> no. <laughs> that that you want a big titty feeling. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean yeah like i guess some good came out of that right yeah. but it's like I, I never took it like i never was like i fucking hate my uncle or something for calling yeah me. <laughs> right, oh. but <laughs> well, no, i would feel like when i was younger yeah i was like, I was like but now it's not like i don't have a grudge against him right like that's not- I, I was about to ask like if any of you i ever gotten bullied nah i don't think a little so. bit yeah Think about my cousins, so. maybe, but not yeah. like school, like bullying, like nah. Sometimes I be thinking, I'm like, bro, do I be bullying people sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> like my, like my younger siblings, like younger, younger siblings. But I'm like, nah, I'm like, I'm just fucking around, like, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, my, my cousin, my cousin, he lived with us, he used to whip my ass. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but like, I didn't take it. Like, I feel like bullying is only bullying if you like become a victim. Like, if you like, like, if you call it bullying, right? Yeah. I feel like a lot of times it's like. Somebody was just shit talking, all right? Yeah. But then if you like turtle up, then you're, now it's now it's bullying, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if the person doesn't fight back, it's bullying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think people just need to fight back, and it wouldn't be bullying. But now you get canceled for bullying and stuff, mm. right? I feel like the only thing I got bullied for was watching anime before anime was cool. <laughs> what is? So it's like when I yeah they used to be like oh you watch that. And then used to be like racist with it, bro. They're like, oh, you watch some Asian cartoons type shit. Uh, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've always been into anime, and it was especially during middle school because, okay, I didn't do myself any favors, bro. I wasn't like a. <laughs> you used to run around with your like hands back and shit. Like no, that, like fuck no. <laughs> but I used to like you know rock them glasses. Like, right, I still do rock glasses, but, but not wrong with that. Like, but it was, but I was a fucking like I look like a nerd, bro. So like I never did myself any favors, and then. But that was pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And my glasses. That's it, yeah. <laughs> then you get like, you glasses? Four eyes or something huh? like that? Well, not four eyes, but they just be like, you you that blind, bro? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I need glasses, bro. But what, what do you think? Oscar, you've been a little quiet. <clears throat> what? What do you think about bullying? Have you ever been bullied? Yeah. Bullied? Pretty sure I, I know I have. But like in like in moments, not like by a specific person or something, because you know mm-hmm. how people are like oh like this like I had a bully or something. No, I mean I had moments and stuff. Um, but I I do like it like um, <laughs> like uh, I remember like when I filled my first marathon, like I was so angry. Um, and then I looked back like on my stats, like my running stats, and I went crazy like the month after. Cause I was, I was hell. I would wake up hella angry every day. I'd be like, damn, like how the fuck up. And I'm like, yeah, cause like I do perform good when I'm like angry. So I was like, like that bullying stuff. Like I took it well. Like for me yeah. personally, it was like fuel. Exactly, but like that's just me. Yeah. Um, but I do get nowadays. It is different. Yeah. Um, and that makes it tough. Yeah. Cause yeah. I think. I don't know if it's bullying necessary that's like needed, but like I think more, character? more encouragement, yeah, is like needed. It's a little crazy because like now if you get bullied online, it's like, damn, you're getting bullied, right? But back then, I remember getting on COD just to like talk shit to people and like people talk shit back. Yeah. Like be like, oh, you suck, and then that just starts everybody in the lobby yeah. just yelling at each other. I used to go in lobbies on purpose just, just to talk have shit. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> For no reason, just like but. instigating. 
<laughs> but like it's it, it sounds bad like oh yeah i would go in there and talk shit but like everybody did it yeah so it yeah. was like normal and it, everybody would laugh it was nothing like serious to where like it was like a threat exactly yeah or at least i never thought it was yeah i don't know i don't understand like when everything changed like it kind of just happened right mm-hmm. like i don't think our generation culture. really experienced that change though well not i mean not our generation but like our age group you know what I mean? Cause I mean, still, like, I, like most I of us don't so. give a fuck. I think you so, because I mean? like, because like, I mean, you see a lot of stuff like oh, bullying back in the day used to be like getting beat up, stuffed in lockers. But I've never seen like like my whole like educational they, life. I've never seen they that run shit. away with like one or <laughs> yeah, two. I've never seen that, yeah. Like they might have been like one time, like yeah. a couple of times, and then like they erase yeah. it. You see it on TV and shit. You feel me? Yeah, they make it seem like it's that was like an everyday type of thing. Or yeah. Whatever, yeah. When it's but, not the case. But in reality, it's like, I don't know about you guys, but I never saw something like that crazy. Like, I never saw someone stuffed in a locker type shit. Thrown, thrown in a dumpster. I've seen that before. I mean, Wait, thrown in a dumpster? Yeah. They, they said that, like, yeah. as far as the teachers, they said that our, like, generation was pretty chill. But I guess, like, uh, probably, man. like, two, three years before at SLZ. I guess that was bad. Like, bullying? Yeah. Like, mm. it was a lot of, like, Oh, red, blue, you know? Yeah, we was kind of softies. Yeah. Oh, we was soft. Well, now nah, we was just vibing yeah. with each no, other. I heard that was like early, early 2000s and shit where it was hella bad. When it was like punks and stuff yeah. and like different types of cliques. The you know, emo I feel kids. like it was, yeah, emo kids and then like <laughs> punks and the like. Cheerleaders. You know? Yeah, shit the, like yeah, the football the, team. Yeah, the, the jocks. Yeah. I feel like that's when it was probably the, sure. like the most prone yeah. to bullying. Like now it's just like roasting, right? Yeah. But yeah. now I feel like it's nothing. Like, <laughs> like nobody says anything to anybody. I mean, because right? we were, when we were in high school, there weren't really like cliques. You feel me? Like everybody was cool with everybody type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did for the most feel part. Like that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, in a way, there was like the anime group and the, oh, yeah. the soccer kids. You know, but in I, a way, but I it wasn't like, like too like crazy. Our group was like really big though. Like, we knew somebody that knew that person, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like oh, yeah. if we were new to that school and we just had, like, two, three friends, it would be a bit different. It would feel, like, more isolated. But I knew Hadari that knew somebody else and knew somebody. And we'd all hang out in the same area. Yeah. Nobody really cared. Like, yeah. nobody had, like, a specific... It was, like, a couple people had a specific group and then you got people who just walked to any group and just <laughs> fuck around. I feel like it was kind of like a race thing a little tiny bit. Oh, yeah. And that's just... Like, like, and then you got a sure. couple people who just like <clears throat> go to every race, like me and Antonio, like we'll be with y'all <laughs> or something. But then we'll go, you know what I mean? Deshaun, I'm, I got class with him. For real? Yeah, that's motherfucking okay. hella funny. This <laughs> <laughs> day. Yeah, um, I, with that race shit, it is true, bro. Because, yeah. like, you feel me? Like, all the Mexicans will hang out together. Well, not Mexicans, but like Latinos and shit. You know, the Salvadorian. <laughs> oh, yeah, they was, they was their own yeah. little clip. <laughs> and the Polys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They had a good time, and then I I feel like with with the uh, <laughs> with females I feel like there's they weren't really like us type shit, like I feel like they actually had clicks, mm, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I think. What are you saying? Oh, uh, we kind of touched up on it, but like, are you guys um like do you guys hold grudges, like, or you guys just let stuff slide? Or? Nah, I I like forget about it the next day. Yeah, really but you're very like you're like a very forgiving person. But there's also because I mean, there's also never really like nobody really messes with me or does anything. So <laughs> there's nothing to. I feel like I only hold a grudge if I didn't get a chance to like say something in that moment. Like then I'd be like, oh, I should have fucking said, I should have. And then the next time I see it, it just, I just blow up and just say, it, and then and then everybody's wondering like, why did you like you know? Yeah. But it's like I. I can't even explain it, bro. I was just holding on to something. I just had to get it out one of these days. You know what I mean? Yeah, but after I get it out, then I don't really hold a grudge after that. I just be back to normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think holding grudges is a little crazy now. Because, like, like what, what you know, like, action would make you want to hold a grudge? Like, depends, you know? Yeah. I don't think, like, there's some... I don't know. And I feel like bro. we've all kind of matured. A good amount. Yeah. Not hold any grudges. Like at the moment, I wouldn't, I don't know what would it take for me to hold a grudge against one of you guys. You know? So I'm like, I don't know. Holding a grudge is pretty crazy. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I think, 
it matters like with the intent. Yeah. Like um, like I said, like for that case that we were talking about with Michael B. Jordan, like pretty sure like that wow. woman was just like just being offensive, obviously, but like in that silly way, you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to be funny. But like it could have been like a more serious way, like if she was like a doing it every day type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I think in that case he would have been like, Oh yeah, you used to try to bully me or something. And I feel you know like I feel like that's kind of like the vibe I got from what he was like saying, like, "Oh yeah, you used to call me corny," like, you know, like he hasn't come out and like specifically said like, "Oh shit, it was everyday type shit." But if it was for him like to hold or to come up and be like, "Oh yeah, I remember you, you called me horny," horny. <laughs> I think it's pretty. <laughs> call me corny. I feel like it'd be pretty often if he still yeah. remembers it, right? Yeah. yeah, and it's probably so. something that like I guess motivated him now, in a way. That back then, because I mean, holding the mugshot and everything, like they were talking shit, but like he made it, <laughs> yeah, right. So it something works. He did something right. right. Yeah, how could Somewhere. he? How could he really hold a grudge when you're that successful, bro? Nah, no, I don't think he's holding a grudge. I don't think he's holding a grudge. I just think it's like I, I did all that work and now look like like yeah. And I think it's like it's like when you're hearing songs all the time, like. When somebody, every you know, every rapper is like, my teacher told me I wouldn't do shit. <laughs> I go, I've never heard a teacher say hey, that in nah, my life. That shit happened to me though. That shit happened to me. Like, oh, mama, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. She told me, Hugo, you ain't gonna be shit. Yeah, she's like, oh, you're never gonna be successful in anything. I was like, bro, that's fuck? wild. It ruined my whole day too. It was like first period too. Mama but I feel told like me, the same way, like, won't be shit. After you make it, it's, you probably got a good feeling. Like, yeah, like I feel like it's just situational. Like certain people, and I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Would it, I don't think it like would everybody do it? Would I do it? I don't know, I might do it. I ain't gonna lie. Prove somebody wrong, be like Yeah. You're wrong I don't see nothing it. wrong with it, but I see why people wouldn't do it. Like, yeah, you already made it, like who cares? They they see you, you don't have to say nothing. Yeah. But I feel like it's like, eh, you yeah. know. If you want to say wanna something, he, he, he earned it, bro. Yeah. And and the person they talking shit to earned it too. Cause you talk shit when you did not have to, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it, it's it's okay. I think I think he's good in my eyes, bro. Yeah, like, I feel like both are deserved. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like, like I said, she could have, if he listened to her, then he wouldn't be where he is now. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if he listened to her, it would have been like a much bigger impact than him just seeing her like, oh, and just saying that quick little, oh, you said I was corny. That's all he said, too. Yeah. You know? It's just a quick that when it could have been his whole career. Yeah. You know I mean? Hmm. This is kind of off topic, but I don't really think he's a good actor either. <laughs> Really? I don't a think he's that good. Say he's the sexiest man alive, but he don't gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I, I think, yeah, I think that's that's why he's like so, like, how you say it? I'm not gonna say weird, but like, he's like popular, I guess. Yeah. Because of his looks. I don't like the Creed movies, I'll be honest, but yeah. him and Black watched. Panther, he was cool. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That, that was good. I was gonna say in that movie, he said like he put in like probably like the most work because yeah. he got like depressed or something. For Black Panther? Yeah. Because really? you see the role he had to play in was like a way different character than he actually is. Oh, okay. So he was like, oh, yeah, I got like totally depressed after and had to go to like therapy and stuff. That's for sure. I don't get that shit either, bro. With actors. Like I get like being so like. Like you have to be a character for like months and shit. Mm-hmm. But like because that really fuck you up. You Like you think. Yeah. I mean, didn't the Joker for Black Knight like lock himself in the room for like three days? Yeah. RP, yeah, yeah. but then, supposedly he was already like dealing with shit, you know. No. But I mean, that's even worse, you know. Yeah, and it's I'll like be- how serious you're taking it, right? Like what lengths you'll go to. And then uh, to- I think Jim Carrey, well, when, like, in one of his roles, I think he like stayed in character. Oh, Grinch, for, right? For the longest, I'm not sure if it was a Grinch, but I think it was him. But he stayed in character even like Offset. Oh really? Yeah, just to like do that. And then uh, right now, I think there's a football player. Um, he's, I think he locked himself up in a room. Oh, Aaron to, Rodgers to see if he's uh, gonna play again. Aaron Rodgers, to yeah. See if he's gonna play again. <laughs> One of the greatest QBs of all time, bro. Mm-hmm. We saw yeah. I think last last year he did shrooms or something like that because he's a <laughs> spiritual person and oh, to see if he's gonna want to play. Yeah, I heard you heard about the thing. I mean, we're we're switching gears hella quick, but I mean, you heard about the thing? All related. How he took like a shroom? He took shrooms or like he took some shit and then he sees now he sees like a ghost or some shit. Who no. that uh, Aaron Rodgers, and supposedly his teammates report seeing that same ghost around the locker room too. He sees a ghost. It's like this. He says it's like a a guy in a trench coat with a hat on. 
The <laughs> Vince Lombardi? <laughs> <laughs> I've always seen the motherfucker. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm like, for real, it's crazy. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Trench coat. <laughs> I don't know. There's a name for it. Like, there's people see. He's not the only person that sees it. So, I don't know. It's fucking funny. Mm. I don't know. You got the whole fucking locker room on shrooms or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I saw this um thing on, like, Fungi. I think it was probably a, from a show. I'm going to be honest. It was most likely from a show. And then, uh, have you guys heard of, like, zombie ants? Yeah. yeah. So, so they're pretty much like the fungi takes over the the ant's brain and then just like uh, floods it with hallucin hallucinogenics, mm. I think, or hallucinogens. Hallucinogens. One of those. Mm. Hallucinogens, and then it pretty much controls the ant, mm. right? And um, uh, and then they're like, oh, but that can't happen to humans because you know, if they'll die, pretty much it can't happen to humans because they'll die in like our bodies because we're just warmer. Uh, they're like, oh, but what if they have to, like, evolve for warmer climate? And they're kind of like, oh, global warming, right? So they have to evolve for that. I don't know and what you're talking they about. They try to take over humans, things like that. And then I'm, I think about, like, shrooms. I thought about shrooms. And it's like, because it's, it's a fungus, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think that's what it's doing? You know, it's like flooding your brain with halluc- hallucinogens, but it dies. So that's why it wears off. Uh. But if it didn't die, it would like stay forever. But it's already dead when you eat it. No, I don't know. You know what I mean? Well, right, right. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a junkie, it, it, but I'm just me? talking. <laughs> a junkie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just, I mean, I think I see I what you're know. talking about, though. And that uh, they were saying if it didn't die, it would create human zombies. Something like that. And then they were like, but what if climate change or something like that? Then it could, <laughs> then it could really be human zombies or some <laughs> bullshit like that. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I think it's just from the show, The Last of Us, I'm going to be honest. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. yeah oh, isn't it at the motherfuck. beginning of that show, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I think haven't I know watched the show. Uh, Have you guys seen any of it? Last of Us. I play the game. For real? Yeah. Any good? It's good. One and two. Yeah. I was thinking about watching the show, but I don't know. Zombies. <laughs> Wait, y'all been y'all been watching like any films or uh, I watch cocaine, bro? That shit's trash. Really? I want to watch, watch it, bro. Huh? Yeah. Darren, you Darren, watched Darren want to? <laughs> yeah. Bro, Dar- oh, Darren, Darren, we texted the group chat. We was like, we was like, bro, should we go watch it? Darren's like, bro, yes, bro, ten out of ten movie, bro. Movie's hella good. We all went to go watch it. In the movie, we texted the group chat like, nigga, like we. You feel me? <laughs> we we like, oh, weekends <laughs> movie. Wait, oh, he, <laughs> didn't, Darren, he, didn't he ask Darren us? Darren was like, let's go watch Cocaine Bear after the pod. Nobody said it. <laughs> I felt hella bad, but at the same time, I didn't want to go watch it. Yeah, it's just I, mean, I don't even know why I watched it. Like, if you watch the trailer, it's like, no, I actually want to watch it, but it's because I, I you don't want to watch it, bro. No, I actually do. I was gonna I'm say my female, though. I like I like bad movies. Wait, oh, like, you tell me I like I'm not gonna like that movie. I like bro. bad movies though. Like that movie's terrible. It's not bad. It's terrible. Bro. Uh, the only reason I want to watch it is, is it like cringe and stuff. It's like it's cringe. Th- I like those kinds of and movies. And it's like. Man. Is it like crawl? <laughs> like crawl, oh, yeah. Like no, what? crawl's better than cocaine bear. <laughs> crawl is way better. Than no, crawl. but where you can make a joke of watching the no, movie, that's you what, can. That's what I was thinking. I was like, because we watched crawl and we had a good time, bro. <laughs> I tried to do that with cocaine bear. It's like I'm sitting there mad, and then I feel like it should have been a thriller. Uh, that's what would have made it like crawl, and it would have been like yeah. good, like crawl. She said, Apex Predator. Yeah, like that's <laughs> funny. Away from the but but alligator. cocaine bear, bro. It's like we. Uh, I'm trying to make jokes, like, but they're made. But the the movie is a comedy, so it's oh, like okay. I can't even make jokes about it because they try to make jokes, and then the rest of the people in there are laughing at it, <laughs> and it was making me mad. I'm like, it's not even funny. I can imagine Darren laughing. watching. It. He's like, ta. <laughs> <laughs> you know the gif when they open the mouth a little bit. He has his shoes off. Wait, this, <laughs> well, he did. just grabs applesauce on the seat. <laughs> and he's on the he's on the seat throwing popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's trash, baby. Like, yeah, bro, it's hella good, bro. No, it's not. He's a bro. ten out of ten, huh? I don't even know. I'm probably over that. That shit was ass, though. Bro. Shit, yeah, crawl was bad, but we made it pretty funny, which, yeah. which was good. But since they were trying to make cocaine bear funny, it just ruined it, you know. Yeah. Well, Oscar, it? wait, you want to say something? Nah, Oscar, I think you told us a while back that you don't like movies anymore or like superhero movies or some shit. Yeah, like you said that you oh, want to watch. I, I, I think it was like sleep. a genre, certain genre. Over. I don't remember what it was though. Yeah. yeah. 
But I start. I've been watching um uh, you. Mm. Uh, my brother be watching. That's pretty good. Mm. Uh, I watched one season. That show was pretty good. Are you like what season are you on? Uh, two, like halfway. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I saw the yeah. first one and the second one when they came out, and then the the one that they have right now, like the half half season. Mm. Yeah, I like it because like you know like the scene goes on and then like. He's like talking in his head while he's like staring at them, like telling them like what he's thinking. And I like that uh, shit. What's it called? Um, he's like, he's like, I'm about to lie. He's like, I'm about to lie. <laughs> like, like, there, like, there's there's a world. guy that he like America's he like, muted like, it. He muted it when he's talking okay, to himself, okay. and you just like see him just staring and like not saying nothing. Yeah. And it's kind of funny without the commentary. It's like what the hell? Yeah. But um, Everybody hates who do you think is crazier, <laughs> uh, Joe or Love? Joe or Love. Well, the th- like I, I'm only halfway into the second one, so love is like still newish. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I'm, I'm assuming love there's something I guess that I don't, I don't know mm-hmm. about yet. Yeah. Um, so when he tries I, to justify all these killings. I'm just like, nah. Wait, he's <laughs> a serial yeah. killer. Uh, uh, not killer a serial shit? killer, but uh, I mean, er, what would would be a serial <laughs> killer? I think like three or more bodies. <laughs> <sir. laughs> three or more? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, then for sure. <laughs> How many bodies have you reckon? But I thought serial killer was like something like specific to each one. Nah, he's just killing just because. It's still no, a serial not just killer. because like, he he, like he literally literally thinks like it's for their own good. Yeah. To be honest, he literally <laughs> thinks. <laughs> to be honest, the most justifiable one was the first one. The, the friend. Yeah. Fuck her, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, it, it's, that's the most justifiable one. You know, like, come on. Oh no, no, the, the, oh, no, the, the right? first ever one was a dad. That that one was justifiable. I think that one's good. Justifiable. Uh, the the kid, the kid. Uh, <laughs> no, that wasn't the, the first one. <laughs> I thought saying, the first bro. one was the dad. Well, I know what you're talking about. Because like, they came close, her and then he just. I think the dad was second. Him. Oh, the dad was second. He, yeah, I think so. The best friend just got shot, bro. Just. Yeah, but, but when he was like chasing him with the rocket, psh, <laughs> that's oh, funny. talking about killing, I mean death. It's not funny. This is not whatever I'm about to say is not funny. That transition was funny. But, though. Y'all heard it like don't laugh, but <laughs> now nah, nah, I'm laughing at me that weak ass punk. Nah, but you can't laugh. You can't laugh. All right, that is tough. Y'all heard about the dude who set up? <laughs> I'm not laughing, bro. Dude, what? I'm not fucking. We're not gonna talk about <laughs> the dude who what? No, no, say, say, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm, I don't know what you're talking this about. This dude at Berkeley, in front of Berkeley, he set himself on fire. Oh, and they threw a bike at him. <laughs> they threw a bike at him. What yeah. the fuck? Oh, in front <laughs> of Cal State. Oh. I mean, no, Cal but he State was just Berkeley? like walking, and then, and then he like, set himself on fire, bro. In yeah. front of the college. Yeah. Why? Like, <laughs> he was protesting or something. Nah, I don't. Nah, he, he just did it. <laughs> Not spo- supposed to he was having like a mental episode or some shit. Uh, I was about to crack a joke. Can I crack a joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck it. Yeah, Boy was what like, you mean? We just talking about bullying, bro. Boy was like, <laughs> he said, flame on. I thought he was Johnny Storm or something. <laughs> if you know this person, we got like 10 minutes. Human yeah, we got oh, um, speaking uh, just like all that. Uh, did Human you guys see the councilwoman? I think it was in Utah. She like hit a, a hit a biker and just kept driving. And, and then there was footage that came out and they were like saying shit. And then she's like, Oh, I didn't even notice <laughs> the biker. I was on my like phone. Half of the car and just flies. And you see his chocolate fly all the way up <laughs> and then just hit the floor. And I'm just like, there's no way you don't notice like hitting somebody like that. Because I've been hit from like rear ended. Oh, and I got, <laughs> I got hit from the back. Yo, <laughs> nah, nah, I said I got rear ended. He said, and I felt it. <laughs> But the whole car would be like, you be like, damn, what the fuck? He said, damn. Nah. He said, ooh. Nah, you guys can't even do that. Chill, chill, Hell nah. That's justifiable to kill somebody, right? They hit you from the back. <laughs> <laughs> they hit and run. You, you take them to court. You sue them. <laughs> He's like, he broke my my back. (laughs) Hit from the rear end. That's one way to say it. (laughs) He rear ended me. (laughs) (laughs) Break four (laughs) door. Come on now. I mean, you've been hit by a car. (laughs) 
Yeah. <laughs> Speaking about head on collisions, wasn't there like a train? <laughs> and this <laughs> was. Oh my god. Wait, wait, talk about the train, man. Talk about the train. What was it? Who said that? Who brought it up? Head on collisions. Angel, go. Oh, yeah, go. Is that just going to jump like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, so I'm talking about me getting hit by a fucking car. <laughs> so talk about the train. <laughs> Not talk about it. No. I think I already talked about it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, trains. <laughs> go. Trains. So in Greece. Uh, oh, trains. Like trains? <laughs> oh, like it, you get a hit from the back? In <laughs> Greece, on, there was two trains that like, had a head on collision. I mean, there's been so many train yeah. like, crashes lately, but apparently it's pretty normal. Which yeah, I, I seen a stat where it's like I think last year five thousand trains crashed, <laughs> really? which is fucking crazy, bro. Because you know, think about how many. <laughs> think more, about it's like what I feel like That's five thousand like, is probably like damn. not really like no, I think it's in nah, the world though. Crazy like crashes, they're probably not really like crashes, right? Or maybe like crashes derailments. Five thousand is crazy. I don't know. I have this like vague memory of watching a movie about a runaway train and they like had to stop it. It's like Polo Express. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's like they had to. It's like a train going like hella miles an hour. Wow, wow, west. (laughs) I don't know, bro. (laughs) Bullet train. (laughs) Nah, bro. I don't know. It's an older movie and they had to stop the train, bro. Was Smith in it? Will Smith? Not I don't know who the fuck movie in it. Wild, Wild West. Or um, the dude that's like dressed up like a bandit and he has like the mustache. <laughs> I know, I think I know what you're talking about though. Keep going. But it's like, no, no, I, don't, I have a vague memory. But like, I when I was younger, I used to feel unsafe and like taking Bart. I was like, oh shit, what if this shit like? <laughs> just, <laughs> just I, bro, to this, this day, I be thinking about that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like a couple months ago, not months ago. I want to say maybe like in July, I went to the Warriors last game for the finals, and I was just looking out the window. I was like, "Bro, if we fall, I'm done, bro." Yeah, like I'm fucked, bro. You scared every- of heights? Huh? You scared of heights? No, I I'm just scared of like fast. Not scared, but like I'm very <laughs> wary I'm of uh, fast moving vehicles. Mm. Like you, you know, like roller coasters. Nah, I fucking love roller coasters, but I'm saying what like. <laughs> I like roller coasters. Bro. <laughs> I might feel safer on roller bro. I'm, I'm uh, roller coasters than fucking cars. What's it called? That happened to me too. Uh, in movies, like movie theaters, when uh, I think it was Black Knight, it got <laughs> shot up. Uh, uh, after yeah. going to the movie theaters, I was like, "Ooh, yeah. <laughs> bro!" Last time I went, I was like, "Bro, if if they're gonna shoot up, this is the scene because it was like a lot of bangs and shit." Uh-huh. And I was like, "Once the scene passes, we're good, bro." Like and I was dead ass thinking I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, said if they're gonna shoot up, this is the time. <laughs> so if anybody wants to shoot up? <laughs> no, no, I meant, I meant this is probably the most because when they did it over there, it was during the scene where there was like hella smoke bombs in the movie and shit, or like Bane and Dark Knight or in Batman meet up for the last time or whatever. And I was like, oh, damn, yeah, it's I forgot weird. about that. I ain't why. That's crazy. No, we was talking about when I bought the roller coasters and I started laughing because. I remember, like, I, every time we go to Great America, like, and then we're on, like, that one roller coaster, like, the wooden one. Oh, the ghost <laughs> and then me and Angel would be like, bro, like, one of these days, bro, this shit gonna <laughs> fall apart. Because that shit goes, bro, and it's... Yeah. And then we just look at each other and we're like, bro, like, one of these days, bro, this shit gonna fall apart. When that shit came out, they were, like, bragging, like, first first roller coaster made entirely of wood, bro. <laughs> All wood. That don't sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, we're just, we're scoping around and be like, bro, look, there, there's no screw right there, bro. Like, it's just done. <laughs> Not, the, like, the fair rides is crazy. Because you think about it, they had to put that all together yeah. and take it back down. But yeah, supposedly, broke, like, yeah. it's mathematically not the smartest thing to do to get on those. On the fair like, ride? Like, it's not even, like, when you compare them to, like, the safety of, like, amusement parks, like, Great America or Six Flags, like, it's not even close. Suppose like, the standards are hella low. They sometimes don't even check them. They'd like, probably be thinking, like, it's just a day. We'll be okay. Yeah, now. yeah, type shit. You know what I mean? terrible. <laughs> yeah. I remember, like, back then, or even, like, last year or two, I'd be like, bro, we should all go skydiving. But I probably, oh, wouldn't, even, I probably wouldn't even do it anymore. You t- you said, yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah. You're like, and then I was like, I'm not doing it. like, oh, you're a pussy. No, because the thing is, you said you weren't afraid of heights, but you'd be like, you're like, hell no, like, I ain't going. No, nah, I'm I'm not afraid of heights, but 
if that's i could fucking die what are you talking about you could die on a roller coaster too look i'm going down the parachute and then that shit rips i'm finished i just don't want the dude don't you have a spare on my rear end well, like, i don't know this guy you feel me I, I just don't like that and don't you get like a fat ass wedgie or something <laughs> <laughs> i'm cool you could pass out too <laughs> like, like, you. landing is like pretty rough yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I heard landing. Maybe <laughs> drag. Yeah, I sure you need dragged, right? Sometimes. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for this one. Yeah. yeah. Put your legs up. Put your legs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we avoid uh, final destination. Yeah. Predictions on who? Uh, yeah. who Let's do one real quick. Who who thinks is gonna finish last? All right. For, for hot sauce? Yeah. Okay. I eat slow though. <laughs> wait, it's, it's sure it's oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we. Let's not finish them. Let's just say who do you, who, who we don't think is out? yeah who we gonna think is top. I'm not tapping out. I'm not tapping I'm out. I'm not tapping out either. Damn. Somebody gonna have to tap out. I'll Nobody tap tapping out. I'm not even I, in my mind. I think mind, it's either bro. Oscar or Dari. I just said I tapping out is not even in my mind, bro. <laughs> oh, okay, then. I'm not tapping like out. That? I think H only life. makes it to the bomb. <laughs> I'm not tapping out, bro. What do you mean? You think I'm not like I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna make it. Change, bro. What, what, what's something sandwich. that makes it I more spicy? I hate the Chick Fil A spicy sandwich, bro. <laughs> I hate the Chick. What, what's something that makes it okay, more spicy? Okay, let's put money on it. Y'all like making bets? All right, yeah. Bro. Say, right. say, say less. Hey, hey, hey. Say hey, I, hey, I'm taking the under, bro. I'm taking the under. <laughs> you think I can, I'm I'm I can do it. I can do it, right? Hey, hey. I'm taking the under, bro. He doesn't get past four point five wings, bro. I'm taking. Okay, how much? What? Nah, just with you. How many sauces is it? How many sauces? Twelve. Twelve sauces. That's all over. That's an easy over, Let bro. me tell you a little secret. Eight. Let four me tell you a little secret. Four and a half is over. Let me tell you a little secret. What about eight? Eight? Ooh, eight. Uh, like eight's, eight's a good eight's one. A good, like, eight what? Out of 12 sauces? Yeah. Uh, you think I no, won't make ten, it past? No, it's 10, 10, 10, 10. No, that's what we're saying. But it was supposed to be bro. fucking 12, but I guess... They, eight used to win. Eight used to win. Ish. It's like a tie. There's no way he goes past eight, bro. How do we make it a competition, though? There's no way. I'm eating all... How would we do it? Like... If he goes, if he eats more than eight, oh, we're talking about H only. You think he yeah. gonna make it? I think he's gonna make it just because he got give me, give me, give me, give me, give me the six. Give me the six. 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 You taking the over or under? I think you're for going you. Over six. Over? For you. Yeah. I got I, six. I got you over six. six. <laughs> you don't think I'm getting past six? He's not making it past four, bro. <laughs> but bro, that's an easy over. <laughs> bro, <laughs> okay, over six. I'm, I'm eleven point five. Easy over. <laughs> That's an easy over. What? Bro. There's no nine, 11. Nine. What the fuck? It has to be nine. There's oh, my dad said that he don't, sauce, that a while back when he was That's like ten. young, oh, ten. Ten. he made like one of the spiciest shit he's ever tried. And it, he said it shits on the one that they brought in the hot one. So he said he's going to make one for us. Oh nah, that's doing too No much. but he said <laughs> No but he said He said that will actually fuck you up. So like it's up to you if you want to try it. I'll okay. try I want to try it. Yeah. All right. Bet. Say less. Nah, I've had some hot shit fuck me up. It's. Not yeah. I've honestly never had no hot shit fuck me up. I just don't eat it. <laughs> but I think I can eat anything, bro. So I think I'll be good. Bet. If I have to, I could do it for sure. Bet that. All right, bet. For sure. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Let's Say What Podcast. And hopefully, we see you next week when it's the anniversary. Adios. Peace out.